On the final day of the Selma March to Montgomery, Alabama in 1965, Viola Liuzzo, a white woman, civil rights activist, was murdered by four KKK members. It started with Liuzzo delivering the marchers from Montgomery back to Selma when the KKK members saw Liuzzo in her car, and knowing she was a part of the march, they gave chase. Liuzzo, annoyed rather than frightened, held her ground, a pillar of strength in the moments that threatened to steal her precious life. To the Highway 80 they raced, and finally, 20 miles outside of Selma, Liuzzo was shot and instantly killed. Through the years, she'll be remembered as a dauntless woman, fighting for what she believed in with every ounce of will that she had, a civil rights martyr. Liuzzo was born on April 11, 1925, and grew up in the southern region of the United States. Her family was dirt poor. Liuzzo grew up with a society saturated with segregation, and even attended a segregated school. When she was six years old, she stole money from the cash register from the shop her mother worked at and gave that money to an African-American boy who lived in a family even poorer than her own. At age 16, she dropped out of school, ran away from home, and married a man much older than her. They had two kids, then divorced a year later. She worked as a waitress, and in 1943, she married a man, Anthony James, or Jim, Liuzzo, whom she had met while working. A week later, she met Sarah Evans, an African-American woman who eventually became Liuzzo's best friend and housekeeper. When Liuzzo was 35, she attended Wayne State University to further her education. She attended the church just two blocks from campus, introduced to her by Evans. They both became more and more involved with the civil rights. In 1965, Jimmy Lee Jackson was fatally wounded by an officer during a voters' rights demo in Marion, Alabama. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. responds by calling on everyone and anyone to march to the state capitol in Montgomery, Alabama from Selma. On March 8th, Liuzzo decides to go. Evans warned her, You could be killed! However, Liuzzo simply replied, I want to be a part of it. Liuzzo marched and acted as transportation to get marchers into Montgomery. On March 24th, she stayed overnight at St. Jude's in Montgomery city limits. She watched the marchers from the top of the tower, restless with a feeling of sickening anxiety. Liuzzo decided to go see Father Deasy, a parish priest, to calm herself, and said, Father, I have a feeling of apprehension. Something is going to happen today. Someone is going to be killed. The next day was the final day of the march. Liuzzo was delivering people from Montgomery back to Selma when four KKK members saw her in her vehicle. They gave chase, knowing she was a part of the march. They chased her all the way to Highway 80, 20 miles from Selma, then pulled their car side by side to hers and shot her. Her passenger, Motan, a civil rights activist, avoided death by pretending to have already been killed. Later on, there was an FBI investigation. Gary Thomas Rowe Jr., one of the assailants, was an FBI informative and testified for prosecution to receive immunity. The other three received 10 years jail time for the violation of the use of civil rights. However, they were not given punishment for the crimes committed as KKK members, such as clubbing the Freedom Riders, or suspicion of involvement of the bombing of an African-American school where four black children were murdered. Liuzzo's family legally tried to get the FBI to investigate once more, but they ignored their pleas. The Liuzzo family sued the FBI for $2 million, blaming Roe and the FBI for murder. In Ann Armour, Michigan, the Liuzzo's were able to get Roe into court, but the judge threw out the case and ordered them to pay the government back $80,000 in court costs. By appealing, though, the Liuzzo children were able to avoid the fine. Why does this matter? She received justice only years later, 24 years later. It was 24 years later that she was acknowledged through the seemingly endless fight for freedom. It was 24 years later that her children could finally rest, with the relief that their mother was finally recognized for the deeds she had done. It was 24 years later that she was engraved on the Civil Rights Memorial in Montgomery to be the only white woman recognized for civil rights movement. This incredible woman received recognition, yet no justice, 24 years later. Those white supremacists only received 10 years for violating Leo's civil rights, yet no punishment for the crimes they committed as KKK members. For murdering innocent black children with the malice of discrimination, for beating freedom writers with the clubs of meaningless hatred, just how is it that they receive no penalty? To murder. To take a beloved, precious life. Just how is there no cost to it? That is why this incident matters. For justice not to be served to those who violated her civil rights, stole her life, and stole many others. Viola Liuzzo will be remembered as a woman who was brave, courageous, a woman who found hope in times of darkness, who remembered to turn on the light when there was no switch to be found, a woman who was compassionate, a woman who was indomitable, a woman who fought for what she believed in until the very end.